He knew you. Does God know all things? Jesus is God. Jesus knows all things. Yes. And so when he was on that cross, did he know every sin that you've ever committed? Yeah. And yet he was still willing to go to that cross and die and allow his body to be broken for you. We can't even fathom that, right? You ever been picked on in school? Ever been roughed up? Or somebody hit you? And maybe you maybe you were bigger than them and you showed some restraint and didn't wallop them back. Good for you, right? But we can't fathom how much power Christ has. Right? They're trying to bind him. <laughs> what a ludicrous thing! Could they really bind him if he did not wish to be bound? Not a chance! Right? He could have called on his father, because the disciples, they thought, well, all right, we've just got to save him in the garden. And Peter hacks off one of the, the, the high priest's servant's ears. The right ear. Right? And Jesus tells him, put up his sword. Right? He could call to his father and presently have 10,000 angels immediately. Right? We know from the Old Testament one angel's got enough firepower to knock out 180,000 men in one night. 10,000 angels, that could wipe out every human on the planet. And that's if he chose to use angels, right? He's God. He spoke this into existence. He could speak it out. So he's doing this voluntarily. He had this power to stop it, but he went through it anyway, knowing that he was going to be punched and slapped bit upon hit with whips mocked mocked means made fun of to become the laughing stock of these multiple trials between uh, Pilate and Herod he, he got dressed up like a king multiple times as these soldiers are, are laughing at him spitting upon him hitting him over the head with a stick a reed jamming those crowns of thorns over his head. He knew about all that. He could have stopped it at any time. But for you, his body was broken.